My name is Mike Welker, Coordinator of eLearning and Innovation and Instructional Designer here at NC State College. In this brief tutorial video, we'll walk you through how to do the basics of firing up and presenting content in this specific classroom. Um, the good news is, is this is one of the more advanced classrooms we have where we have a variety of presentation equipment to allow you to present a uh, whole lots of different kinds of multimedia to your students. The good news is, is that uh, almost everything we need to do as far as operating Operating, manipulating, powering on or off this equipment happens up here at the front of the room in the instructor console. An optional place uh, or a drawer where you can pull that down and out comes your keyboard and mouse to operate the instructor PC. Um, but for our purposes, one of the first things we'll need to do to get ready for class is to fire up the PC. Now, in this case, uh, we'll have a solid door, but you could also have one with glass and we'll open that up and you'll see it on one side or the other. And for almost all these guys in the top left corner of the PC, you'll see there's a button there, and that's our power button. And if we press that, you can tell it's on by it being Next lighted. What we want to look for then is some sort of touch panel built into the front of the instructor podium. And if it's blank, like this guy is, we'll just tap on that, and then we should see the NC State logo or something like that and it'll say press anywhere or tap anywhere to begin so we'll do that then at this point what that is going to do is fire up our projector so that'll have our image of whatever we're telling it through this touch panel of all these different sources that's going to send it to the projector and what we do to switch at any point in time is just tap what we want there so we'll see something it'll say pc or something of that nature in this case, it'll say Rack PC, and that'll be the particular instructor PC and send that image to the uh, front of the projector. And then I'll have the option for a home or for some other option to switch between different other sources, such as a DVD player, laptop, or a document camera, and I'll be able to manipulate those separately. I can shut down the PC per normal, the bottom left corner with Windows, so on and so forth. Um, but as far as shutting down the system and the projector, in this case, I'll look for an exit system, but it might also say log out or shut down. So I'll tap that and then I'll have some sort of fail safe screen. Are you sure? In this case, it says yes, shut down. And I tap that and then that's going to shut down the projector and the rest of the system for me and I'm good to go. Now for the laptop option, if I want to bring in my own laptop, um, I'll need to look for somewhere in the podium, there'll be connectors, either uh, these three row connectors, uh, what we call the so-called VGA, or uh, a newer connector, uh, uh, HDMI, as well as if I'm doing audio, some sort of audio plug there as well. And I'll need to plug those into my laptop and get that fired up and send its video out. Then I can select the laptop source as being the source I want to go to the projector. Now if I want to play a DVD for my class uh, on the touch panel here on the home screen I'll need to say DVD player. Then that will be able to send the DVD player up to the projector. Then what I'll need to do is look, open up my uh, doors and my instructor podium and look for the DVD player. Usually uh, we will go with Sony or Panasonic um, if you're looking for a name, but it should say something about DVD on it. In this case, it's a Panasonic one. So to open that up, to put my DVD in, I'd hit the open close and it'll think about it and then it will open up a drawer. I can put my DVD in and say open and close and go to town. Now I've got two options for actually manipulating my DVD and playing and pausing and skipping between scenes. I'll have controls here on the touch panel that I can manipulate and try manipulating my DVD that way. Uh, an alternate or backup way is to look for whatever name brand DVD player you just found. In this case it's the Panasonic and look for the remote which should be either somewhere on the top of the instructor station or in a drawer somewhere there. And Now one of my other possibilities on these units is the document camera. 
and I've got a button for that. And if I say doc cam or document camera, then that's the active signal going up to the projector. The cameras, if they're not an Elmo on the top, then look for a drawer, such as on this model here. And if you slide that out, then this is your document camera unit here. Now, a lot of folks are a little put off about what these doodads are, but basically what we have is a camera on an arm that we can zoom in and zoom out and display anything such as 3D objects, handouts, uh, papers, anything you can put on this stage. It's a way to show it to class. To get this beast fired up, what I do is I'll lift up the arm here and turn this around so that the camera part's facing downwards. Then I've got a separate light arm I can adjust here to get light on the subject, but I can also manipulate um, my camera head however I need to to be able to clearly focus on the image on the screen and get the image on the screen that I want. Now in this particular model to turn it on I have a switch back here at the, the back right that I can flip up or down to turn the whole document camera on or off and what I can do then once that's on is I can put my 3D object or handout on the center of the stage and then I have a variety of controls to zoom in or zoom out or autofocus to be able to give me the best image of that object up on the projector as I can. One other item to look for is this little black Kensington remote. If I'm doing some sort of slide deck um, presentation, remote connection to the instructor PC so I can advance a slide or go back a slide or hide or uh, use a laser so pointer. The basics of getting into this beast, firing everything up, use a quick tour of some of the possibilities that are here and then shutting it down. Um, a word of a caution on this, don't feel intimidated by all this and likewise don't feel like you have to use all these woozles just to use them. Make sure when you're always using instructional technology, it's situated in a context of best practice. If you'd like to talk more about those or how to have effective use of your multimedia, you can get a hold of us at eLearning at nc.statecollege.edu 419-755-4706. Be happy to work with you and uh, whatever questions or topics you want to work with. Other than that, have a great class.